So the game I'm playing today is called Jet Set Radio. Now, this is a game I've wanted to play on my channel for quite some time. If you're unfamiliar with Jet Set Radio, it's a game that originally came out for the Sega Dreamcast in the year 2000. And... I've wanted to play it for so long, but the only thing is that I never had a Dreamcast when I was younger, so... I never really got the chance to play it until the PC port came out, or basically when the, uh... HD remaster of the game came out, so, yeah. I have been playing this on, uh, my PlayStation 3 quite a bit, though, and I really like this game. I really do. I haven't, uh, completed it yet. I'm still working on that, but it's, it's really fun. So, basically what you do in this game is that, as you can see, you're just going around rollerblading, and you have to spray graffiti on a whole bunch of things, and that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. You can pull off those, those awesome tricks as well. Like, for instance, grinding backwards on, on rails, because that's always cool. And running into people on, on the sidewalk. <laughs> anyway, how about we just get straight to uh, playing the game here. So we're just gonna press the start button. And uh, this is the PC version of the game, by the way. Um, this is the Steam version. So uh, we're just going to... You know what, I don't think I'm gonna actually go to the tutorial, because uh, I already played this game before. But uh, this is my first time playing the PC version, though. The PS3 version I know how to play, but the PC version not really, but I really don't think I need to go to the tutorial. So we're just gonna start a new game here, and here we go. Somewhere in Asia, there's a city that cannot be found in any map called Tokyo -to, But everyone just calls it Tokyo. The two hottest things in the streets of Tokyo -to are the punks wearing magnetically driven inline skates powered by newly developed Netrium batteries and Jet Set Radio, a pirate radio station. Manned by the DJ Professor K that plays nothing but non stop hardcore music. Those street punks have been named Rudy by the people of Tokyo. -to. They roam the streets and cover the city with their personal graffiti, claiming that it is their way of expressing themselves to the world. However, ever since the Metropolitan Government and the financial conglomerate, the Rukuka Group, combined their efforts to co found the 21st Century Project, the streets of Tokyo -to have never been the same again. Police crackdowns on the Rudies have become more severe, and Captain Onishima is more anxious than ever to put them behind bars. The streets of Tokyo To are ready to explode. Yeah, so we got a bit of a backstory there. So this is gum. Hold it, you can't go tripping through the streets till you learn some basics. Try this. You can speed up if you hold down the right trigger and jump by pressing A. Okay, so, yeah, those are like the Xbox 360 controls. The thing is, I'm not playing this game with a controller, because uh, I actually don't have my uh, my PlayStation 4 controller with me. Um, I do believe the PC version of this game does have uh, full controller support, so I would probably try to play this with my uh, PlayStation 4 controller if I could, but... Uh, yeah, just have to stick to using the keyboard for now. I do know you can press the E key on your keyboard to speed up. Yeah, and you can move the mouse around, move the camera. Yeah, so this is, this is not so bad. Not so bad right here. <laughs> I just ran to a thing. Yeah, so this guy that I'm controlling right here, his name is Beat. He's basically the uh, unofficial mascot of uh, Jet Set Radio. So, yeah. And, uh... Wait a second, why is there no music playing in the background all of a sudden? Did I... Did I disable the music? I don't even remember. Sweet, now try this next run, and, okay, I didn't want to click, I, <laughs> I skipped through her dialogue there, uh, accidentally, but, yeah, you just gotta grind on rails here. So I have played through this part of the game already, I, kn I know how to do this. I do know how to do this. And, I don't know, it might be a good thing that, it, that I, uh, have the music disabled, because the thing is, this game does have, uh, it does contain copyrighted music, like, it does contain licensed songs, so I just don't want, to. Uh, you know, my my channel to receive a copyright strike. I don't want this video to get taken down for copyright infringement. Alright, now it's time to get serious. If you see something floating over your head, pull the left trigger to start spraying. I believe the, uh... I don't know what the controls for spraying graffiti is in the PC version, though. Is it Q? It might be either, like, Q or E. Well, no, I think it is Q. So... Yeah, I really should be playing this with a controller. And the fact that they're, they're showing you, like, the Xbox 360 controls in the dialogue, you can tell that, that uh, you're meant to play this with a controller, so... I'll, uh, if I decide to make more videos of this game, I probably uh, will try to maybe use my PlayStation 4 controller, so... Or maybe even my Xbox 360 controller, I don't, I don't know, is it... Okay, yeah, it is the Q key. Alright, turn around, beat. There we go. Yeah, just spray that. 
They need to jump onto here and get some spray cans. They gotta grind on these rails, spray them while we're going by. So yeah, just gotta spray graffiti on everything. That's pretty much how you do this. There we go, Gum has joined you. That's kind of a tutorial in and of itself. So now we have uh, Gum on our team here. There we go. Hey you! Not bad. I guess I can join you. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much the objective of this game. And this game does have a story. I'm not sure if I am gonna do a full playthrough of this game though, but uh, we'll we'll see. I have I did want to make a, a video of this game for quite some time. And the thing is, this game is currently uh, free to play on Steam for a little while. Sega is currently holding a contest called Make War Not Love 3, which is basically like a contest where you can... It, it's basically a contest in which you just you just vote for three of Sega's, uh, like, war-themed games. All you have to do is just, is just vote for them, and that's pretty much it. The game with the most votes wins. But one of the things that uh, Sega is doing here... Okay, let, actually, you know what? Let me just do this here for a moment, because I gotta concentrate on doing this. Okay. That's really weird. I have to use the arrow keys in order to do that. I'm not used to doing that. I'm more used to doing that with the analog stick, but anyway. Yeah, so, basically you just vote for three of Sega's uh, war-themed games, and one of the things that they're doing as part of the contest is that they're actually giving away uh, free prizes during the contest. And one of those prizes is uh, free games. And Jet Set Radio just so happens to be one of those free games. So... For a short time, Jet Set Radio is free to play on Steam. I'm not sure how long it's going to be free to play for, but right now, you can go on Steam and download this game for free, and when you do download the game, I believe it the game will remain in your Steam library forever, so you'll be able to play it whenever you want. So you're basically getting like a, a game that normally costs money absolutely free, and you just have it forever. So, it's, it's kind of similar to what Valve did with Portal back in uh, May of 2010. Like, Valve made Portal free-to-play for uh, a couple weeks, and during the time it was free-to-play, you could download the game, like the full version of the game, on Steam, and, uh... Let me grab onto this car here if I can. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the things you have to be careful for, because you can get run over by cars, but, uh... Jeez, I don't remember how you grab onto these cars. Come on here. I can grab onto you, please. Oh, it's the E key. Okay, so let me just do that. But yeah, it's kind of similar to what uh, Valve did with Portal back in 2010. Like, during the time it was free to play, you could download the full version of the game, and you would actually have the full version of the game forever. And, uh, okay, get off the car, B. What the heck are you doing? Holy jeez, okay. Get these paint cans. Don't, uh, crash into me, please. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm not used to playing this with a keyboard. I really need to try playing this with, uh, with an actual controller. But, uh, yeah, so basically, you download Portal, and, uh, you get the full version of the game for free forever. So it'll remain in your Steam library forever, and, yeah, so, it's a pretty good offer. Decide to take, uh, advantage of it, and just, okay, just do this. Okay, I guess I got it. There we go. I have a really difficult time trying to concentrate on that and talking at the same time, but... Yeah, so basically it's the same thing that, that Valve did with Portal. You download Portal uh, during its, like, f f two free weeks, and uh, you would get the full version of the game for free forever. So, kind of, kind of similar to what Valve did. Sega's doing pretty much the same thing with uh, Jet Set Radio right now. And it's not just Jet Set Radio. They're doing it with a whole bunch of uh, their other games as well. Like, Golden Axe, which is a game that came over to Sega Genesis a long time ago, is also, uh, like, free-to-play on Steam for, uh, a short time, and, okay, I guess I, I guess I failed that or something, okay, yeah, I think what I have to do is that I not, I have to not hit the ground during this, uh, during this sequence right here, but yeah, so Golden Axe is also free right now, and there's a whole bunch of other, uh, like, classic Sega Genesis games that are free on Steam right now, so, yeah, Sega's just giving away a whole bunch of free games right now, it's awesome. I mean, I was just going to purchase the PC version of Jet Set Radio anyway, but considering that I'm getting the game for free, I mean, why not? Might as well. Anyway, um, <laughs> I didn't even acknowledge Tab's existence while I was, uh, while I was, uh, talking here, but yeah, this is Tab. For some reason, he sticks his tongue out when he talks. I don't know why that is, but there we go. Bonus music unlocked flight like a butterfly. We got us a crew. I got an achievement. 
Yeah, the Dreamcast version does not contain achievements. Transmitting a signal straight to you. Y'all got your antennas on or what? Yeah, we're riding high in a smooth stream of supersonic sound. And I'm your captain and DJ, Professor K. Jet Set Radio! Three games are fighting for the Tokyo streets. In the west, the Bacon Show, the city of the night. We got those high-tech maniacs, those man machines, the noise takes, and in the east, from Kobani Joe, the city of the sunset, it's that crazy monster mask wearing gang, boys in jam, and from Shibuya Joe, in the south, the city of daylight, it's those troublemaking punks, the GGs. To Gigi's home turf, Shibuya Joe was just a tap. Was it poison jam? They were talking about sweating out there. Or maybe it was the noise deck trying to send a system crash through the whole city. Listen up, all you innocent fools out there. Officer Onishima has got some special order and socks and bracelets all ready for you. So get yourselves to the bathroom and brush those teeth, boys and girls, because a whole load of trouble is heading your way. I find it really weird how Professor K's head constantly changes shape while he's talking. I don't know what that's all about, but anyway. Chapter 1, GG. So, uh, you do have online leaderboards and achievements, which I think is new. I at least I think. I'm not really sure if it is or not. Now, one of the things about Jet Set Radio is that you can actually create your own graffiti in this game, but, uh, I don't think I'm gonna create my own graffiti for now. We're just gonna go... Right to the street, press A to start, which is actually the space bar if you're playing this with a keyboard. And I think this is the only stage we can go to, Shibuya GG. So we can play as either beat, gum, or tab. So, we have a power meter technique in Graffiti. Uh, she has low power, but she has a lot of Graffiti, high Graffiti technique. Tab seems to have more technique than uh, any of the other characters, but... Beat is more of a, a balanced character, I would say. I don't know, I just, I just always play as Beat in this game. I never play as any of the other characters. I don't know why that is, but... Maybe because he's like the unofficial mascot of the game, but... Someone's busting into our turf! They're lurking around the bus route! Find the red arrows and start tagging! For some reason, I'm just randomly dancing on top of a bus! That's rather dangerous, but anyway... <laughs> Alright, let's go. So we have to, we have to go and get some, uh... Some spray cans here. So we just need to, just need to go and get all that. There we go. Just gotta jump. Watch out for that car. Car doesn't even stop for us. Okay, so all we have to do is, okay, put, put it down. Come on here. Okay, yeah, I'm really not used to using the arrow keys on my keyboard to spray graffiti. That's, that's really weird. That is just really awkward controls right here. Hey, you, get the heck out. Get the heck out! How you doing? There we go. You just get out of here. Alright, here we go. Then, dang it. There. Yeah, this is really not good. Really not good. HQ doll stations, juvenile skaters have been spotted fleeing in the vicinity of the Shibuya bus terminal. All officials respond, repeat. Oh god, okay. And actually, isn't isn't that guy supposed to supposed to talk when he says that? Okay, you know what guys, I'm just gonna... If I can just pause the game for a moment. Yeah, here's the, uh, the background music volume. I think I need to, like, try and in increase this here. Because, for some reason, I'm not hearing the music. I think I might have disabled it. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, now I just need to... Uh, actually, there's a thing up there that I could collect. But anyway. Yeah, we got the police force coming after us now, so we need to, we need to get the heck out. We have got to get the heck out. Alright. Just knock those, th those pylons down. Okay, give me some of this. There we go. Just gonna spray that. Gonna spray all of that. Okay, yeah. Now I can hear them. I can hear them talking. But now I can't hear the other sound effects in the game, though. I just, I just realized. So, what the heck is, is going on here? Okay, wait a second. Um, okay, uh, Beat, you might want to get the heck out first. Because he, they're getting a little bit too close for comfort here. Okay, hang on a second, guys. I, I need to mess around with the sound here for, for a second. Here, I'll try to, I'll try to balance it there. I think I, I think I might have balanced it. Can I hear Beat? Okay, yeah, I can actually hear Beat and the music. Okay, cool. Um, alright, uh, not this guy. Okay, this guy I know is, is bad, because he comes at you with a pistol and he, and he fires at you. That is, that is just frightening, and you need to get the heck out. Ouch. 
Yeah, hi guys. Oh, you're gonna get ready for a beatdown. Gotta get ready for the beatdown. Get the heck out of here. Oh god. Nope. 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 Too spooky for me. I'm getting the heck out. Ow. Holy jeez. Okay, he shot me from all the way up here. Okay. I need to get away from this guy. I need to try and collect these spray cans, because there's other things that I need to that I need to hit over here. Like this. Just spray this. Come on, beat. There. There you go. Spray with your with your graffiti. There you go. Yeah, okay. I need to go. I need to go. I need to go right here, because this guy's gonna start firing at me. Okay. Avoid him. Avoid him. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. He's firing at like point blank range too. He can't even hit me. Okay, never mind. He just hit me. Alright, just just go, just go, just go. I'm gonna try getting up here because I think I need to go up here for something actually. Oh jump. Okay, I didn't even get enough speed. Oh my god. Wait, are you guys running away from me? I just knocked over that bike. So the way the stages work is that you have to spray graffiti on everything. You just glitch through the stairs and oh my god, camera please. What the heck are you doing? Okay. Hi. Hi, hello. How how y'all doing? Okay. Oh, okay, that works somehow. Um okay, just hit this. There. So the way these stages work is that you have to spray graffiti on some stuff. You have to tag tag a few things. And uh once you tagged everything, then that's the end of the level. And you do have a time limit, but the time limit in all the levels are pretty lenient. This one gives you like 10 minutes to beat the level, so it's got to turn around right here and jump. And you just need to get the heck out of my face. Thank you. Give me all of this. Make sure not to fall, though. Okay, there. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, I really don't like the fact that you have to do this with the arrow keys. I don't like that. Oh, that's weird. It's weird controls. But I guess it's not really all that bad, but still. It's, it's... Oh, this is so strange. Okay. Actually, I, I ran out of, of spray cans, darn it. Okay, hang on a second. I'm gonna need some more. Okay, I got number 11. I don't know what that means. Okay, if I can just get the, like this this one spray can, maybe I can I can use that or is that is that for something else? Okay, that might be for something else altogether because I can't seem to use it. Okay, well, in that case, I'm gonna need to go back down and maybe get this some spray cans over here. There we go. All right, there we go. Uh, get that. Get those. Get those. Those moves. Those tricks. Oh geez. Okay, I need to run. I just need to run away. Just run away. Okay, here. Let's try this again. Just gotta jump up here. Okay, there we go. There we go, they're away. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, how you doing? Oh, what the heck? Oh, hi, okay, this guy is just- this guy's just dancing down there. The guy with the- with the- with the pistol. Okay. Anyway, let me just- let me just spray this there. And that's it, actually, so there we go. Look at that, I- I completed in, like, half the time it gave me, so that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now we just return to the garage. If- if we can. Okay, spray, space bar, I mean. There. There we go. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. So that's basically the way this game works. I'm hijacking the airways and terrorizing you with tunes because we're going to turn these dirty streets into one big dance party. Jet Set Radio! Those cats who ransacked Shibuya Cho turned out to be the love shockers. Love broke their hearts and now they're looking to do some breaking of their own. Watch out for these psychos. When you see their heart-shaped graffiti around, you know someone somewhere is crying with the ooky ooky waku waku feeling. Can the GG save Shibuya Cho from the trap of love, or is it too late? Also, he has orange lips. That's that's really strange. But, anyway. So I think this is where I'm gonna end things off for now, guys. I have been recording for a little while, and... Yeah, just wanted to play Jet Set Radio because the game recently became free to play on Steam for just a short while. I don't think it's going to be free to play on Steam forever. I think it'll only be free to play for a little while, then it'll go back to, uh, you know, costing money. This game doesn't uh, cost that much on Steam anyway. It only costs like $5. Like, that's that's its regular price, too. That's not like a sale price or anything. That's just its, its regular price on Steam. It's just $5, which is incredible. It's a pretty good, pretty good deal, I would say, but, yeah, so that's Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio is one of those games that really makes me wish I had a Sega Dreamcast back in the day. Like, this is, this is one of those games. Like, this really makes me wish I had a Dreamcast, because the Dreamcast actually had a lot of uh, really good games. But I never got the uh, chance to play this game until recently, because, like I said at the beginning of this video, I did not have a, a Sega Dreamcast growing up, so... Yeah, it had to wait until the HD remaster of this game came out before I could uh, finally uh, play Jet Set Radio for myself. But I have played it, 
And uh, yeah, this game's this game's really cool. I really like this game. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to be making more videos of it. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough of this game. I might, but it's just that I'm doing full playthroughs of a couple other games right now as well, like Super Mario Brothers 3 Mix. Like I'm not I'm not done with that series yet, and I'm also still doing the Genocide Run of Undertale, which by the way, I am going to uh, continue very soon. In fact, there will be another episode of Undertale going up tomorrow, but uh <laughs> Oh jeez, I just don't want to kill anyone in there. Like it's it's so hard for me to do to do the genocide run because I just I don't want to kill anyone in that game. Like I anyway, I'm I'm going to save that discussion for uh the Undertale video tomorrow. I'm not going to discuss it right now, but yeah, that's Jet Set Radio. It's still really cool. It's really one of the games that made me wish I had a Dreamcast and if you want to uh download it and play it for free for a limited time anyway, uh the link is in the description. So, yeah, anyway, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video I make. I don't really have anything else to say about this game, except I may or may not make more videos of it. Like I said, don't know if I'm going to do a full playthrough of it yet, but it's just that I'm doing playthroughs of a few other games right now, and I just don't want the, this channel to get, you know, littered with, uh, with just random series here and there. I just don't want to be doing so many playthroughs of so many games at once. Like, that's one of the reasons why I'm taking a break from Final Fantasy VII right now. Because I'm just... I feel like I'm just doing too many full playthroughs all at once right now. But, we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you guys later.